I would definitely say the jazz is in my blood. I enjoy jazz a lot. I'm a, a trombonist, and it's been my pleasure to, you know, kind of curate and found this Rochester City Jazz Fest. We're in the fourth year, and I, I tell you what, I wouldn't be doing it for four years if I didn't if I didn't love it. So. My name is John Sievers, and I am the founder and curator for the Rochester City Jazz Festival. The Rochester City Jazz Festival this year is expanded into a three-day event. Um, it starts on Friday, November 8th, and we're going to have a kind of a pre-party at Thesis Brewery um, with Liz Draper and Tasha Barron from 6 to 8 p.m. It's a free event. On Saturday, November 9th, there's going to be a show at the Grey Duck Theatre and we're featuring the H3O Jazz Trio. They're from Winona. It's a father and son group. And what they're going to do is they're going to play a set of music and then for about an hour and then they're going to accompany two Charlie Chaplin films for an hour. So it's going to be like a live jazz soundtrack for these Charlie Chaplin films, which should be fun. That's kind of a new thing that we haven't done. And that's in partnership with The Grey Duck. And then that night from um, 8 to 11 o'clock p.m., my band, The Deceivers, is going to be um, hosting a jazz jam at Forager Brewery. So people from the community can come and bring their instruments and sign up to sit in with the band and like play a song uh, on a jazz standard with The Deceivers kind of backing them up. So that's a lot of fun. We have everyone from eight-year-olds to 92-year-olds coming into that event. So it's always awesome to just kind of see what's going to happen there. Um, and then kind of the main festival event is on Sunday, November 10th, and it's going to be at the Castle Community in downtown Rochester. Um, it starts at 1.30 and it goes to 8 p.m. and we have music going all day through that time period. Um, there's two floors of music, so the main floor is in the Les Fields Hall on the third floor of the Castle Community. And there we're going to kick off the day appropriately with the Les Fields and Turkey River All-Stars. Then we're going to have the Constellation Band. Um, we're also going to have um, J.C. Sanford, who is a trombonist, and he's bringing his trio. Then we're going to have local group Lasagna and Two O'Clock Jump. Then we're going to finish it off with um, Lucia Sarmiento, her quintet. So it should be awesome. And then that night, we're going to go ahead and have an after party at Cameo with Loudmouth Brass. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and we're hoping that the community comes out and just has a good time listening to some jazz and hanging out. One of the things I'm really excited about this year is just how much the community has stepped up to sponsor the event. Um, I've reached out to a variety of sponsors and they've really kind of stepped up to the plate. So we have sponsorships with breweries like the Thesis Beer Project and Forager Brewery. Also the Threshold Arts in the Castle, they've been a sponsor for it. Other things even like Taco Jed has sponsored it. My Town, My Music, um, different like community groups have just really come together, the Jive Mill, to help make this happen. And it's exciting to see all those people, um, you know, pitching in and contributing to, to jazz. That's a lot to remember. <laughs> oh my gosh.